Huge news on the F1 manager front today that just came out. They just released, finally, at least a, a small trailer of F1 Manager 23. Pretty excited about this. If you've watched some of my videos, I've actually been updating and trying to get as close as I can to try to see if there's any aspects or anything that would that they would hint about it. Nothing has been on, on the front, but they finally released the, fi the first trailer of F1 Manager 23. A couple of things that have, that have come up in the manager series that we kind of wanted to do. They kind of implemented some of the stuff they didn't implement, but they might implement it in the next game, which makes it very exciting. First off, you only get to play with 10 of the current F1 teams and manage every aspect from the factory to the garage on those teams. So there's no, there, to what we know, there is still no going to be created team, which does suck. One positive to this, though, is that they are going to bring the ability, it looks like, to bring back a rewind method of where if you want to use a race in in the F1 manager series in real world, let's say Asperjan, you know, signs won that race, you will rewind that and hopefully Maybe if you want Verstappen to win that race, you can do it in that, that place. There's also going to be where you can actually do more detail on every single call, every single aspect of the race. So it looks like you're going to be able to tweak. It's not just going to be the five things that you can tweak to, to make the car better. It could potentially be 10 things or more that are going to be, are going to be on that. Of course, the one thing that we also, also know this by heart they're going to inc increase the dynamics of it they're going to make it to where the dynamics of the race is going to be a lot better uh, the broadcast styles and the visuals and everything else but it looks like they're also going to bring a racing line overtake on an on track battle so basically it's going to look like more like the actual f1 racing visuals that they do in real life one one of the biggest things though that i really love about this that that I think I'm super excited is the confidence meter. If your confidence levels are high enough, what they're going to do here is they're going to bring back something to where if you have a good race or if you're you're having a bad series, that your confidence levels and the bar will actually go up and down. Depending on that, if it's like the other manager games that are out there, especially like a football manager, the the better that you have of your morale the better your player goes, like plus one, plus two, plus three more of their attributes, which is really cool. The biggest thing I think that they're going to bring in this, which is something I, I have hoped that they would bring in, is they state here, face a variety of challenges dilemma that will threaten your season. Poach new drivers instantly or agree to, for them to join for you next season. So you could sign somebody in the middle of the season and they would have to join next season though. And uncover new generational talent via the simulated F2 and F3 championships. This means that there we won't be able to play F2 and F3, which sucks, but they actually have it in the game, which means it looks like that they're gonna put more dynamic to where they'll say, yeah, we're, we're gonna let these cars kind of push themselves around and, and you know, like, like with Piastri, you know, Piastri being in, in the F2 series and all of a sudden, whoop, up, up one level. We're gonna have that series where you do wanna sign these guys, you do wanna bring them up, you do wanna manage them. And it looks like it's gonna be something really, really good. They, they also have something that uh, where it's gonna be more of like your directors are gonna have an aspect of it too. And it, and it says here that they could do have you, have you win a fastest pit stop award too. So this looks like it's going to be an aspect of everything. Confidence level works also because if your car spins out, if there's there's if there's problems with your morale, coming back to the morale, problems with your morale, your pit team actually could have problems with that and blown tires and, and different areas. So very excited about this, very, very happy. Uh, I had to post this up at least for a video, a video aspect, and I'm excited. If you guys are excited about it, uh, let us know in the comments down below. If you're waiting for a release date, they still have not stated a release date for the video. Unfortunately, I know I'm just mad about it. Last year it came out in about August. So we're assuming that this year it's going to be the same thing. We'll have to see on, on where it's at. One last thing before I leave. I, I was doing the video. I completely forgot about this. Sprint races are going to be in here and red flags will also be in here. So they're going to add two new things into the race though. 
But until then, thank you guys so very much. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more F1 Manager videos. Or watch the new video, which should be somewhere around here. Thanks, guys. Bye.